Welcome to Real Magic Review, my name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm not going to be reviewing anything. This is the second part of my top five knacky card moves. So before we do this, I'd like you to uh, have a look at onlinemagic.co. That's my online magic course. Again, without me banging on about how good it is, because again, I would say that, I shall read another Trustpilot review. Uh, from this time, uh, Matteo, a phenomenal magic resource with tons of superb videos on card magic and a newly added section on coins. The material is extremely accessible and Steve is a brilliant teacher and an overall awesome human being. So there you go. Thanks, Matteo. Highly recommended, he says. Uh, so have a look at that. OnlineMagic.co, live sessions every week, special guests every month and, uh, and over 600 videos now, 93 of them now are the live sessions. So uh, yeah, it's good, have a look at it. And uh, like and subscribe if you like this, share it if you wanna share it too. Today, I'm gonna be talking about one of the most overused moves in my repertoire, the one-handed top palm. Now, if you haven't watched the first part of this, by knacky moves, what I mean are those moves that look quite difficult but aren't quite as difficult as you think they are. There's nothing really happening. You're not having to get your hands in really weird, odd situations, but for some reason they just don't pop, and then one day they do, and you don't really know why. That's kind of the best way of, a uh, slightly more accurate way, maybe, but the best way I can think of, of uh, describing these moves, or, or my experience with them. It's gonna be different for everyone. And they're also moves usually that if you change one little thing, you, talk, sort of, you kind of look and go, oh, I'm getting it, and you get that lovely feeling of, of achievement. So the one-handed top palm. Some people don't like this, and I can see why. I think it can be quite a, an unnatural move. It's done quickly. When you first learn it, there's this idea that you have to do it really quickly. You can actually do it quite slowly. I don't really have any problem with it. Some people think that your hand has to move in a weird situation. It, it feels natural to me, and I don't think I've ever once been caught on it because all of these moves should be done with a bit of misdirection. I don't think they need total misdirection. I do this as a color change sometimes, so they're looking at the deck, and it's, there's so many great applications for this. And the larger action, hiding the smaller action, comes into play a lot of the time. So, sorry, I forgot to turn my emails off and they just went ding. Grossly unprofessional. Uh, but as, as you're handing the deck forwards, you can do it. As you're moving the deck from one place to the other. Or, of course, you know, the basic application of misdirection when they're not looking. <laughs> so, oh, look over there. Don't do that. But the, but the fact that you're holding the cards in one hand means there's not as much heat on it, you're just holding them. Whereas, when the, as we all know, when you put the hands together, if you haven't got justification for that, that's where it can look a bit dodgy. And, and I know that we can easily, I do loads of moves where the hands come together, so I'm not saying don't do it. Uh, but I think it's one of those moves that just feels so free to me. And, you know, you're palming a card and that is, puts you in a situation to do lots of very cool things. I find the one-handed top palm a lot easier than one-handed bottom palm. Now, I have got my own one-handed bottom palm, which doesn't require gravity as much. There it goes again. All of a sudden, I'm getting loads of emails. <laughs> but I'm not going to stop because I'm on a roll. I find a lot of one-handed bottom palms, I have to kind of, the hands do have to feel like they're not in a natural position. I can't drop them down to my sides. I kind of feel like I have to kind of balance a little bit. And that doesn't mean they're not appropriate for some situations. But this one I find a lot more versatile. It's for sitting, for standing, as I'm handing in the deck out, uh, handing the deck out. Uh, it's just brilliant. I use it all the time, and I suggest you learn it. It's not as hard as you think. You don't have to have really strong big hands or anything like that. I might have got little porky fingers, and I do it all the time uh, as a color change, as I say, and as a as a hidden move. So that's the one-handed top palm. If you want to learn this, of course, you can learn this on onlinemagic.co. You can learn it in loads of places. Uh, but I do have an in-depth, detailed uh, description of this on the course. So check onlinemagic.co and do like and subscribe if you like this. If you've got any comments, any disagreements, you hate the move and you can't stand it, well, put that below. It's just as important to me and interesting. And I'll take the comments onto the live sessions and make follow-up videos maybe as well. So thank you very much. Like and subscribe. That'd be great. Take care.